Hi everyone, I'm Kylie, and today I'm going to do a review on the brand Inkbox. So, so, first of all, I wanted to say I do a lot of promotion work with different brands, but this is not a promotion whatsoever. Like, I am not trying to sell you this product. In fact, this is probably one of my more negative reviews that I've had on my channel, and I don't have very many negative reviews. I do have a lot of wig reviews and random things like that on my channel, and I'm over I'm overall a very positive person, and my experience with Inkbox was very positive. The one problem that I did have with this brand is that I just feel like it's not worth it for the price. The price is where I'm, I feel like it's just like a little, little bit too expensive. Cause I have five tattoos on my arm right now from Inkbox all at once. And each of them are like worth 20 bucks. And for them only lasting about a week, it, it's just like, it hurts my bank account to imagine. But um, let me get into that further after I explain which ones I chose how I put them on. This is also going to be like a how-to kind of thing where it's like showing the ease of it all in my process. So let's dive into that first before I get further into how I feel about this. So I love this brand because they have so many options but then they also have a way to customize their tattoos and I, I didn't do that. I figured that would be more expensive too. I really like the way you apply these. It's really not hard at all. I kind of was disappointed with how small they are. These tattoos on my arm that you can see right now are visibly very faded. So before I zoom up and show you what they look like now, I'm gonna show you what they looked like when I applied them. So this video clip I'm showing you right now is a video of me demonstrating myself applying this tattoo, that um, the floral one. That I have right there and uh, the way it's just kind of lightly stenciled in it's not really a full developed tattoo yet they have this diagram right here where you can see exactly how everything works after you apply the tattoo you are supposed to leave it on for a full hour after that hour is up you peel it off and just try not to get it wet or anything and try not to sweat too much preferably like put on your tattoo after you've taken a shower so that your skin is as clean as it should be but they also have a primer wipe to wipe your skin for like I think a full 30 seconds it really helps with applying the tattoo so even if your skin is clean I'd probably recommend using one of these after that 60 minutes is up like when you peel it off it's not gonna be a fully developed tattoo yet it actually takes 24 hours for it to get darker and you can definitely tell by looking it at it throughout the day it's just getting darker and darker and darker and even after the full 24 hours it might not even be as dark as it will be because by day two I felt like my tattoos were significantly deeper in color than they were I want to say by day three they matched my real tattoo really well and I was using this thick tattoo of mine and this very thin tattoo of mine back here as a good example of what this would look like compared to real tattoos because they're both very different, like this one's a little bit more fine line work and then this one is really bold. Um, and it did match really well, it was, it was pretty accurate to what a real tattoo looks like. Not for long though. Um, so they also say uh, the tattoo longevity, and I actually just saw this when I was holding it up. I didn't realize this was here before. So if you're doing it on your bicep, it should last about 7 days. And then on from like day 8 to day 14, it should be kind of faded looking. And so that is actually super accurate. I got water on it because I work out a lot. And so and it's also the middle of summer. So it's really hot and sweaty. And uh, I would take frequent showers. I mean, every other day, I guess, if not every day. I tried my best like to not soap around it. So like when I'm using my body wash, I'm soaping up my chest, my underarm, my back, but then I was completely skipping over this area and just like scrubbing everything else around it and I tried not even to get like soap rinsing over it while I was rinsing my soap. I was pretty cautious of that because I wanted this to last as long as possible. But now that you've seen the way I put it on and the way it looked like, I'll show you up close what it looks like now. The mushroom is the thinnest line work, so it disappeared the fastest and then this uh, crystal is kind of leaving as well and then the tea leaf and the um, what's 
that called the like tree trunk or whatever are also kind of blotchy and fading but these are all about 11 days old and then this one that is the floral piece is about eight days old so as you can see like i'm two days away from these entirely disappearing but this one right here still has some time to go but um they're all pretty significantly faded they only last about i want to say seven days in its full glory <laughs> like after that seven days they're just going to be so faded that you might as well scrub it all the way off So I was pretty happy with the way they looked when they were on my arm, other than the fact that I was very disappointed by the size. I don't really wear a lot of big tattoos on, like I don't have many big tattoos that take up all the space, but this kind of, the reason why I bought five tattoos, I actually have a sixth one right here that I want to use, I haven't decided where I want to put it yet, but it's a mandala. Um, the reason why I bought five tattoos is because I wanted to see what it looked like to have a half sleeve on my arm because I don't necessarily want a half sleeve, but I wanted to see if I could ever imagine liking one. And it was hard for me to tell because there was just not enough space taken up. Like my, when I picture a half sleeve, I picture from like the tip of my shoulder to right above my elbow. And uh, it, there's just so much space in between. I really kind of thought that this tattoo right here that's um, the stump, um, the, the, the wood rings, I thought that was going to take up my whole shoulder. And maybe I'm just really dumb for not reading the description well enough because I haven't checked now, but I'm pretty sure like they would have obviously stated how big it is but I guess I just wasn't paying attention like the way they present it on their on their screen it just kind of looked like it would have been bigger and that goes for all of them literally every single one of these I thought it was going to be bigger and the only reason why I assumed that was because each of these were 18 to 20 dollars I don't think so like there are some that go up to like 28 dollars and I'm just not paying nearly 30 bucks for a tattoo that lasts me two weeks I at that point I would rather just go pay over a hundred dollars or more for for a, a real tattoo that size like if I really really wanted a chest piece I would probably pay like 50 bucks for a full fake chest piece to see what it looks like and get reactions, see which of my work clothes can cover it properly, overall the way I feel about it. Uh, because things like that, like a face tattoo, a chest tattoo, um, a hand tattoo, the, the ones that are a little bit more risky, like neck tattoos, I would say this is a really good option for you if you're considering a real tattoo and need to test it out first then in that case worth the price for sure because it's so much better than spending money and going through pain and then regretting something for the rest of your life but as a fashion trend i just don't think this can really pick up because it's simply a little bit too expensive to be just constantly covering yourself in twenty dollar tattoos each week. <laughs> I mean, not that I expected this to be a trend, but I remember when those like golden temporary tattoos that were like little arrows and stuff and little dots that you could put on your arm, those were popular and I just kind of thought this was kind of the next trend where everyone was getting fake semi-permanent tattoos instead of real tattoos, but that's not really the case. And uh, I don't know, I, I also checked out Momentary Ink. That's probably the next one that I'm going to test out, and I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison maybe. Maybe I'll save my mandala tattoo, and then do a momentary ink review, and see which one I like better. Like, literally put them right next to each other. That would be fun. Um, so I probably won't be trying Inkbox again, not because it's an awful brand, not because they disappointed me in, like, customer service or anything like that. It's only just the fact that I'm a cheap ass... <laughs> I'm just really cheap. I probably, I like to spend my money on clothes that I can wear multiple times and then when I get sick of them I can bleach them and dye them and cut them. You can't do that with tattoos though. Not my thing. But I'm glad I know that now because I get so many ads for their stuff on my 
everything on my Google account, like whether I'm on my laptop or my phone, I'm getting nothing but Inkbox ads. So like I know for a fact that I would have just been so bugged without knowing if I actually liked it or not because I'm constantly seeing it everywhere. Okay, I feel like that's enough for this review today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry if I disappointed anyone or if you work for Inkbox or are a huge fan of Inkbox. I'm sorry if like this review was too negative or something, but I'm just being honest. I feel like it's fair enough for everyone to try it out at least once and if you love it, like that's great. But um, bye. Stay epic.